Did you know that you can earn crypto from people trading even while you sleep? It's the miracle of liquidity providing. It's passive income and better yet, compounding passive income. Welcome to Pulse Chain. This is DeFi and Five, and I'll show you how to provide liquidity on Pulse X and how to easily get yield on your Pulse Chain by providing liquidity. So Pulse X V2 liquidity. By adding V2 liquidity, you'll earn 0.22% of all the trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool, accrue in real time, and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. So I would recommend just putting a tiny bit of your pulse chain into a liquidity pool with P with. So there's two and the one with the pulse chain colors around just to try. And I'll show you why. This is the reason why. Because it's pretty much bonded at a one-to-one -one rate and you're getting the yield from the arbitrage that occurs between the two. So this is what makes it such an incredibly educational tool. So this is WEF and WPLS. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just copy the pair and I'll show you how we can work out the math on this. So if you go to info and you go to V2, and then we go to search for the pool and we copy and paste that pair address that I just copied from deck screener, it will bring it up here. So here we go, WPLS WEF. And it will tell me how much my yield will be. So 3.31, 3.31, not too bad, considering your pulse chain is just sitting there doing nothing. And if you put it in liquidity, there is no impermanent loss on this. Only if you sell out here is it impermanent loss. It always gravitates back towards the one-to-one. -to -one. That's why it's such a fantastic liquidity pool to experiment with. So I would strongly recommend just experimenting with this so you can see for yourself the kinds of numbers. But how do we actually go about doing this? Well, obviously, very simply, if you're new to Pulse Chain, again, we're going to go through the process of buying. So I'm just going to buy, just let's buy a few dollars worth. Let's just buy a dollar's worth. So 50,000 and 50,000. So this is where you can see the virtually one-to-one. -one. So 50,000 PLS is going to get me 49,865 worth. So I press swap and I sign what I need to sign. And there we have it. The transaction has just come through. So it should appear. Boom. Here we go. So now to provide the liquidity, hover over trade, go to liquidity, go to add liquidity, and it's automatically on V2. So we've got PLS here. And now we're going to bring up WEF. And then I'm just going to put the maximum amount here and then enable the WEF. So when it's Pulse Chain, you don't need to enable Pulse Chain. When it's any other token, you always need to enable the token first, which has a gas cost. And you just confirm. And then that will get confirmed and then you simply supply. So when there's two tokens, there'll be two tokens to, to confirm there, enable rather, and then you would press the supply. So in this instance, we're only going to do one. And if you have enabled before, that also negates the need to enable. And we're just going to supply. Now we can see here, I've got 0.001, well, less than 0.01% of the liquidity pool. So it's a bit tricky to work out the exact math on this but basically if you have a dollar 23 a dollar 23 so you have two dollars and 46 cents in that liquidity pool so now if we go back to here and we go to v2 and we go and look at the liquidity pool here just so you can see the kind of dollar amount that you're going to get bearing in mind that the percentage on this will fluctuate. So now, so you can calculate what your daily yield is going to be. I'll show you the math. So I'll bring up the calculator. So now if I own $2.46 of the total liquidity, so $2.46 divided by 340,760 is going to give me my percentage and then multiply that by the daily yield, 11.41. And we're going to earn 0.00008. 2, 3, so on and so forth. So a lot less than a cent, but obviously we've only got $2.46 in there. So that's how you create a liquidity pool and calculate the yield that you're going to make. And remember, this compounds. So continuously it's going in. Now, how do you actually withdraw it? Very, very simple. So each day it's going in there. It's going in there automatically. So then you would find your liquidity pool. So let's find our liquidity pool. Uh, sorry, it's just worth. And then very simply, you would just go to remove. So you can see here, I can take the full amount out 
or I can do smaller percentages based on how much I want to take out. And this is how you can just take out your yield and just live off your yield. And that's it. Simple as that. How to create a liquidity pool. Next episode, how to find a good liquidity pool and then all about impermanent loss in episode five. So stay tuned.